Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the 21 questions makeup tag created by Allie Glines. So basically you just have 21 questions all about makeup and you just go through and answer the questions. Before we get started, make sure you guys subscribe down below for new videos on Sundays. If you wanna answer any of these questions in the comments, feel free to do so. Please give this video a thumbs up if you end up liking it. And definitely go check out the video that Allie did over on her channel. I'll have it linked in the description box. With all that being said, let's jump into the video. So I have my list of questions. So the first question is, what is the oldest makeup product in your collection? So for me, <laughs> that is this Mary Kay lip gloss. I don't even know what it's called. Um, I just know it's from Mary Kay. I got this when I was like, mm, I wanna say like nine. Um, it's just super old, okay? I don't use it anymore. I mainly kept it because the packaging is so cute. Like it's gold and pink and then it's got a little flower on the top. I don't know, but yeah, it's kind of nostalgic for me. <laughs> Second question, what is your most recent makeup purchase? For me, that is the ColourPop Blush Crush eyeshadow palette. Um, I got this for my birthday. Like just look at how pretty all the colors are. Um, I used the shade Papa Bottle on my eyes today, so that is the color that I am wearing. But uh, I just love, first of all, the packaging is just so pretty and pink, and I love this color. Like, this is my favorite color, this pink shade. And then inside, you just get all, well, let me take this plastic off. You just get all these beautiful pinky toned shadows and I don't have anything else like this in my collection, which I think is why I was so drawn to it. Also for the packaging, cause you know, you want like a palette with cute packaging. Like if it's, if it's ugly packaging, you're less likely to pick it up. So yes. Moving on to number three. First makeup product you ever used, which is still this um, Mary Kay lip gloss. Unless you want to count chapstick, in which case that would be the first. <laughs> um, but no, it's definitely this lip gloss right here. We got it, two for one. I used to hate lip gloss. Like, I don't, I didn't really use it that much. But when I did put it on, I would like take it right off because it was just so like gloopy and just sticky. I'm like, this is disgusting. Lip gloss has come a long way, let me tell you. Like, <laughs> Now I can find a lip gloss that's not sticky and not tacky and it doesn't make me wanna like take it off. Um, I'm wearing one today, so there you go. Question number four. A makeup trend you used to love but now you hate. Okay, oh, I got one, I got one. So for me, that's baking. If you watch my older videos, you know that I used to bake my face, but I hate, like, ugh, I just, mm. I really hate it now. I, uh, <laughs> um, it just, it made your under eyes feel super tight and crinkly and just gross. And I would still get creases, like no matter how hard I tried, it never worked. But now I have seen the light and I use less concealer and less powder and it works fantastic. Who knew? <laughs> okay. the. Fifth question is a makeup trend you used to hate, but now you love. This one was a bit harder to think of because I couldn't really think of one. Um, I guess lip gloss, although I don't know if that was really a trend per se, but it's definitely a like product that I did not like. I just generally used to hate like anything on my lips. Um, I don't know. It, it just felt too cakey, but obviously it's lipstick, so it's not really cakey. I think you probably know what I'm trying to say. Um, yeah, I just hated anything on my lips. It just felt too like gloopy and gross and sticky, but now I love it, so there you go. Question number six is your favorite step in your makeup routine. 
Um, for me, that's eyeshadow. I just love how, like, creative you can be with eyeshadow. That's part of the reason why I love makeup is because you can express your creativity in so many different ways, and it's just fun. Like, I recently got into painting, and I just, like, really love anything that requires creativity. I feel like that's really my strong suit. So, eyeshadow is just so fun. And you can do, like... The possibilities are infinite. Like with your face, there's only so much you can do. Like with bronzer, you can't like, I don't know, drop patterns on your bronzer. I don't know, maybe that's a thing. But um, yeah, there's only so much you could do. And also like, I mean, I know there's lip art, but like really, are you gonna wear like lip art out in public? I just don't see that for me. If that's your thing, that's totally fine, but yeah, eyeshadow, it's just so fun. I mean, like, ugh. ugh. <laughs> and that's, like, the main reason why I love, like, the looks I create is the eyeshadow. If I love the eyeshadow, chances are I'll love the look more. Question number seven. A makeup product you can't live without. For me, that is... <laughs> Try and guess... And I'll tell you if you're right. That is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I don't know if I could live without this, honestly. It smells good. It looks good. It just is like the perfect makeup product. <laughs> like, I think everyone needs to own this. Everyone needs to try it. Everyone needs to love it. Is there anyone out there who doesn't like it, I'd be curious to know because it's just, it's creamy, it's smooth, it's blendable, it blends so seamlessly onto the skin and it's perfect. What's there not to love about it? Like I gave it to my mom, she loves it, I love it, we all love it. So go pick it up if you haven't. <laughs> Question number eight. What sparked your love for makeup? Um, honestly, I think it's going back to the whole like, creativity being my strong suit and I don't know I just I honestly don't know what sparked my love for makeup but I just remember like going into my mom's makeup when she was like not in the house and then putting it on and then taking it off yeah I don't know what's like if there was an exact moment that kind of just sparked it but um I don't know I remember going over to my friend's house and like we were looking up makeup tutorials. I don't even know what year this was. This was like a long time ago. Like 2016 maybe? Beauty YouTube was not like popping off thousands upon thousands of makeup tutorials. You can just like Google. What is the worst makeup look you've ever done? Ooh. Um, I don't know if there's a specific makeup look that I've done that I've absolutely hated. But I know if you go back on my uh, in my channel, I used to use the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation. It was not my shade. It was not even remotely close to my shade of foundation. And it looked bad on my skin because I was not tan. And it showed <laughs> when I wore the foundation. Ugh. Like, I think I even had someone tell me, like, you know your foundation doesn't match. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I know. But, you know, me wanting to wear foundation and... That was... Uh... What is your favorite makeup look you've ever done? I don't know. This one's gotta be a runner-up because I really, really like it. I also think the makeup look that I did in my... What was it? Uh, the pink makeup look that I uploaded two weeks ago... That one is a very close runner-up. The one that I did, um, it was the no makeup makeup look. That one I also really like. Um, I'll have them linked in the card. So you can go check those out if you want. Those, I really, really like those. I don't know what it was. It's just like some days they just turn out better and some days they're just not. I don't know. Favorite drugstore makeup product. I don't know if these technically count as drugstore because you can't, well, I don't know. I think they sell them at Walgreens. Um, 
but they are the Honest Beauty Cream Cheek Blushes. These are magic. Literally, they just look so good on the skin. I have um, Rose Pink, which is like a dusty kind of color. And then I have Peony Pink, which is a more like spring fun pink color. I love them both. But holy cow, these are so good. I'm counting them as drugstore because they're $12, so I think that's about drugstore price. I think you can find them in like Target, Walgreens. I'm counting it because uh, yeah, just nothing else compares. <laughs> what is your favorite splurge makeup product? So for me, because I only have like a couple of splurge makeup products, um, that would be the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I love this foundation. I'm not wearing it today. I'm wearing like um, a mix of two foundations. I'll have everything linked in the description that I'm wearing. This just works for my skin so well. I have been searching and searching for like the perfect foundation for me, the perfect shade, the perfect finish, the perfect wear time. This, 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 this. Um, I did get shade matched for it, so that's probably helpful. Um, I have the shade 1N1, I renewed, but yeah, it's so good. What is your most repurchased makeup product? I haven't really had enough time to like work through everything, but the ones that I have repurchased that I have on like standby for when I run out of like the one I'm currently using is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. As you can see, I'm almost out. I have a backup in my collection, so repurchased this and the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer because my other one broke but I like repressed it um but I just bought another one so I also have this on standby for when I use that one up. What is your earliest makeup memory? I think that has to be going into my mother's makeup collection and putting on her mascara and then I got in trouble because I wasn't supposed to do that. <laughs> Oops. What is your favorite place to shop for makeup? Ooh, for me, I think Ulta because I mean, they pretty much have like everything. They have the drugstore section and they have the high end section. So you can find like everything. I really don't like the reward system though, to be honest. Like, I mean, I know a lot of people do, but like, mm, I get better reward system buying books than I do buying makeup. I don't know, you just have to have so many points to get so many dollars. Like you have to have like a thousand points to get like, I don't know, five dollars. I don't think that's actually true. But like you have to have a lot of points to get like a very small amount of dollars. So like you have to buy so much and then, yeah, I just don't think it's worth it honestly. Cause like I use thrift books to buy my books and the reward system is like if you spend a hundred dollars within like, is it six or 12 months? then you get 10 points for every dollar spent and for every 500 points you get a free book under five dollars and most of their books are under five dollars so like you can get a lot of like bang for your buck. that's how i've grown my bookshelf to have all the books that it has what is the most underrated product you own i don't know if i have a like a most underrated product that people don't talk about but I, I have two options here. Um, so the Honest Beauty blushes, I don't think a lot of people talk about these. I know like Allie has talked about them um, and maybe like a handful of other people, but like not a lot of people talk about Honest Beauty makeup. So the other one is the Milani, just the gold um, palettes that look like this. This one's the Most Loved Mattes. I'm wearing this one on my eyes today, like the middle row. So maybe more people have talked about these than I think. Just the last time I was looking for like um, tutorials using the palettes, there weren't a lot of tutorials using them. And I think they're really good palettes. Like you get 12 shades and they're really good quality eyeshadows. So I don't know, people just need to talk about those more too. <laughs> but you have me, so I'll talk about them for you. What is the most overrated makeup product you own? The e.l.f camo concealer this i think is just really overrated i couldn't get it for the life of me to work um it it, it just it was patchy it was hard to blend i have i like the um hydrating camo concealer a lot better 
than the original. I just couldn't get the original to work. Like, I know a lot of people tried it and loved it and were like, this is like the greatest concealer on the planet Earth. I couldn't hop on the bandwagon for this being like the greatest concealer on the planet. What is a discontinued makeup product you wish would come back? I don't own any discontinued makeup products and I haven't tried any, um, but I don't know what the status on the um, Physicians Formula Healthy Foundation is. I think they discontinued it, but I'm not sure what the whole shindig is with that. If they did discontinue that, I want that to come back just because I know so many people loved it. And also, I never had a chance to try it and I really, really wanted to try it because so many people loved it. So that's like the only discontinued makeup product that's on my list of things to buy. So yeah, that would be what I would want to come back. Where do you look for makeup inspiration? Pinterest, Instagram, Pinterest mainly just because there's so much stuff on Pinterest. What do you hope to see less of in makeup's future? Less product launches because even though I don't get PR and I don't go out and buy like every single new launch, it's so overwhelming when you're like following brands on Instagram and you're scrolling through for hours because brands launch so much stuff all the time and I'm like we don't need a mascara for every holiday or like when they relaunch something with like limited edition packaging do we really need that I mean come on if people were gonna buy the thing they'd probably buy it without the special packaging maybe that's just me but yeah less product launches because geez it's overwhelming I'm not obviously going out and buying everything but to me, if you're launching things like once a month, I don't know, or more, depending on the brand, um, it just seems like you're not focusing more on quality, you're focusing more on quantity. And the very last question is, what do you hope to see more of in makeup's future? So for this, I want to see more natural makeup looks. Now, don't get me wrong, I love a good colorful makeup look every now and then, but for the most part, the looks that people create, I'm like, I would never wear that in public. Like, I'm not gonna go wear a like bright green eyeshadow in public. I mean, maybe some people do that. I haven't seen anyone wear green eyeshadow in public. Like, if something doesn't look semi-natural, probably not gonna wear it. That's just me, um, but yeah, I want to see more natural looking makeup, like, especially like the brows when people like, have like boxy brows, I'm like, that doesn't look natural. That's also why I hate like clumpy mascara. I know some people love the clumpy lash look. Me, I'm just like, it just looks so unnatural. Like, ugh. So whenever I do mascara, I always comb through it with a spoolie to make sure that there's no clumps because that is not my vibe. And that is all for 21 questions. Um, thank you to Allie for creating this makeup tag. It was really fun to do. Again, if you guys want to answer any of these questions, feel free to answer them down in the comments. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at justjade underscore beauty. Make sure you also turn on the notification bell after you subscribe to be notified every single time I upload. Stay tuned for the next video and I will see you guys then. Ciao, fellas.